I'm in uh, Gumbalanya and uh, uh, this is the first day of term in Gumbalanya. Because of the wet season, it, it happens earlier in the year than other places. But uh, it's another innovation from the community. Dakos, are you ready for school? New teachers. Because we've got so many people in the community now, they said, why don't we start school early? And of course, it's a great community initiative. So that's why we're starting early here. Uh, first day of school, I'm here to try to ensure that uh, the remote school and attendance program is working and working well. School bus, ready for school. work very hard to get the um, positive messages out to our families so we call it turtle tracks. Are you on track for school? Are you on track for a pathway? Are you on track for employment? And so it's not always talking about the negative vibe that attendance and percentages can give you. So if we've got something positive to tell families, so instead of saying get to school, it's um, school's open, you're welcome to come today or are you got children you know coming in and then sharing our good work that we're doing so showing videos showing ipad clips of children reading so it's a two-way process of getting the good strong messages out and so families know that the school is about learning and it's not just about kids business everybody's welcome here nowadays it is very very important in order to get um, education up the sleeves you know and it will help them in future because we are in a generation of um, kids entering into workforces so they can be able to have appropriate um, certificate in their hands so it's much more of surviving in both worlds. We want to see uh, our future kids um, moving forward rather than um, doing nothing. Well community, education, employment, at the end of the day it's all about people and good leadership. And it's terrific to have people like Sue here in Gumbalanya that's just been such a terrific leader, so well respected by, by the community. But it's also about the community leaders. Now, we're where we're up to in Gumbalanya primarily because many of the traditional owners, many of the community leaders have spoken out and said, look, it's time we change how we do business. School shouldn't be a choice. But when the kids get to school, we, in terms of government, need to provide them with an absolutely first-class education. So they're the various roles and responsibilities we've got, and uh, congratulations to Gumbalanya, they're doing very well. They've provided the leadership, uh, and as you can see, the level of amenity at the school is fantastic. Lots of happy, smiling faces, as you would expect at, at a primary school anywhere, and they're doing very well.